Now to the global frenzy over Apple's latest shiny new gotta have it product, the iPhone 5. The company produced 10 million of the gadgets, and many of them have already been sold with iFans swarming stores all over the planet. But does the 5 live up to its hype? ABC's John Triffin is here with more on that. John, good morning to you. Well, Dan, good morning. For months, Apple kept the iPhone 5 a secret, making its biggest fans want it even more. Around the globe, people have waited in line for days, including right here in New York City, where some even slept on the street for nearly a week. Now that the phone has been released, it seems nearly everyone has an opinion on the latest IT gadget. It's the latest Apple gadget sending the world into a gotta have it frenzy. It's always history. Every time a phone comes out, I want to be a part of it. I love iPhones. This weekend alone, the company expects to sell 10 million of them. That's 2,300 iPhones every 60 seconds. And across the globe, where it's not yet available, you can buy one on the black market for more than $1,500. The demand's so great, New York City Police Department even set up outside Apple stores, instructing customers on how not to get their iPhone stolen. Smartphones, including the Apple iPhone, is, has been one of the biggest targets, especially for grand larcenies. The launch was not without its glitches. There are those new Apple map problems that have some glaring errors. The latest bloggers say they found no faces on Mount Rushmore. And look at its new clock design. Switzerland's National Rail Company now looking to challenge the tech giant, saying they stole their design. Take a look at the two side by side. All this, of course, a sideshow to the big question. How well does it work? Customers seem happy, and the tech experts? I think it's a great phone. It's a really great upgrade. It's thinner, it's faster, it's lighter, it's stronger. I mean, it's, these are all things that make a really great phone. I think it's probably the best smartphone in the world. So what about the map issue? Well, in a statement to ABC News, Apple says in part, quote, we launched this new map service knowing that it is a major initiative and we are just getting started with it. We are continuously improving it and a map is a, and a, and a, map is a cloud based solution. The more people use it, the better it will get, end quote. Now, our experts say in the meantime, if you don't like the new Apple Maps, you can always pull up Google Maps in the browser. Biana, that's a hiccup for Apple. All right, thank you.